Welcome to T-Space here in Zhengzhou. Let me give you a short tour of this four-story tall building, newly opened by BYD just six months ago. You can see the very first thing in the car still out there is designed by BYD's chief designer on level two. So come join me in the front entrance. <laughs> BYD built this place as a celebration of its milestones leading the world's transition to more sustainable energy. And you can see over here, we're greeted by the waterfall art design. This is the main entrance. And on my right will be a history of BYD and electric vehicles. On my left, you will see their retail area with lots of merchandise. So let's start with the history and let me bring you all in here first. So down here, as you come into the museum section, it talks about a brief history of power, automobiles, early internal combustion engine cars. Along the wall, it highlights all the commitments made by different governments around the world on when they're phasing out ICE vehicles. And as they do so, brands like BYD are able to harness more sustainable energy, whether it's wind, solar, hydro, in order to power the next generation of vehicles. So you can see this is a demonstration of wind. Over here, you get a interactive display. We saw school children earlier where you get to wind this up and you can see it moves a bit faster as we wind them up. Over here, as a demonstration of solar, as you point the light, you can see that the display lights up. If you point the light over here, you can see that this display lights up. Beautiful. Very fun for kids to come here to this space because level one is a huge museum section. Here, you get to see all of BYD's milestones as a company and all of its key stats, key commitments, and key achievements over the years. And over here, you can see when it first started building its own batteries, BYD Battery Company Limited, many years ago, all the way to modern days, when it first started building its first pure BEVs, man launching many models, bring together even hybrids, the cell to battery, the body technology, first with the BYD seal, and now a whole range of vehicles, not just with the BYD brand, but other brands like Yang Wang, Chang Feng Pao, and also Denza. These TV screens are interactive. When you dial the knob, you can see that it well changed the pictures to learn more about the history of BYD and all of its milestones. Very nicely done. Nice touch. Here, you can see how much they progressed. All different highlights of their technology over time. Integration of hardware and software milestones launching new technology like the D-Link and D-Pilot. Here, they talk about their vision for what they hope to bring together in a more sustainable world. And on my right, you see all the different early vehicles from the BYD Flyer, back when their logo looked a bit different. The top was blue. To starting in the F3, a very familiar looking base car their first hybrid, which won awards, F3DM, and the very first pure EV from BYD, this BYD E6, which for those of us in Singapore know as our ride-hailing and taxi EV. Since then, so much has changed for BYD. They've launched new vehicles, new sedans, new SUVs, MPVs, you can see over here, the design gets more refined, the technology gets better, the range goes up, the reliability increase. This is the BYD seal that they launched in 2022. Here, 
China's top selling MPV is now the Denza D9, outselling the old school leaders like the Toyota Alpha. So our friends have the Denza D9 and it's doing really well in China. We're seeing a lot more of these now in Southeast Asia. And here, you get to see brands that are not yet introduced in Southeast Asia, like the Fangcheng Pao. This is the Pao 5. This is a utility vehicle, great for off-roading. Down here, we have BYD's ultra luxury brand, also not yet in Southeast Asia. Yang Wang, looking at the sky, look at the stars, and here is their U8 SUV. Down here, it gives you a brand highlight of all the different core brands, BYD, Fang Zheng Pao, Denza, and Yang Wang. And here, more milestones, more highlights from BYD. And as we make our way towards the end, this large wall showcases all the production milestones like the six million vehicle produced here in Zhengzhou, a northern manufacturing hub in China. You can see many more milestones here in China and around the world. And as we make our way here, we are greeted by a cafe. We are greeted by merchandise, all kinds of merchandise, such a wide collection of merchandise. I bought some BYD playing cards. And down here on our left, you get to see their vehicles, so many more vehicles compared to Southeast Asia. That means there's a lot more coming to our region. This one here looks almost like a BYD Atto tree. So they've got hybrid vehicles as well as pure battery electric versions. And you can see this is a much larger SUV that we have not yet seen in all markets. Sedans. Large SUV. So there's some variants of the BYD Sea Lion, whether it's a six or seven, that are also present in this showroom. Here we got the MPVs. This looks like a Denza. Oh, there you go. Large MPV over here. On this side, you get a few more of the vehicles, including smaller, more fun size, more compact models, good for urban short range driving. And look at all the different models here, like the Plus DMI. These are hybrids, I believe. And further down here, you get to see the, the suspension, more sedans, more SUVs down here. There's just so many models to pick from. And what this means is that there is something for everyone. This is the most recently launched edition in Singapore, the BYD C Lion 7. The SUV, I recently reviewed it. You can find our review down in the video description. And as we make our way towards the end, you can see that we've seen almost two dozen models of BYDs. Many of them are produced here in Zhengzhou and very soon we'll be flying to Shenzhen where we'll see even more factories. Here, you can see they've got like toy machines for kids to play. There are so many kinds of swag, including their camping equipment because they've got off-roading brands. They even sell frisbees. And you can look here, a lot of our team are just shopping. There's so much merchandise. And if you look at the quality of the materials, pretty solid, quite well built. Come join me outside. So this has been quite a look at B-Space. You have the reception service counter over here. I hope you get a chance to come visit this place when you are here in Zhengzhou. This is the capital of Henan province and it's a huge real hub in China. This place has been an amazing tour. On top of that,
This is just level one out of four total levels. Above, you get to see a breakdown of the BYD seal split up, the blade battery, a lot of demonstrations about its technology, so much more of its history. This has been exciting and thank you so much to the BYD team for this opportunity to be here. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on EVs.